Hey everybody, welcome to your weekly space news update, let's get right into it. On Saturday, October 23rd, ESA launched an Ariane 5 with a payload of two communication satellites, the first one being SCS-17, a communication satellite that was placed in geosynchronous orbit and plans to provide high-speed K-band communications across the globe, the second one being a military satellite called the Cicrus 4A, which was built by French satellite builder Thales Alina Space. This one was designed to serve as a communication satellite for the French armed forces. An interesting note, this was also the largest Ariane 5 launch of all time, in terms of weight. On Sunday, October 24th, Japan launched a GPS satellite ab aboard the H-2A rocket. This rocket system, operational since 2003, has launched many important payloads for the Japanese Space Agency. It was launched from the Tashimigi Space Center in Japan at approximately 10.19 p.m. This GPS satellite will give Japan better GPS coverage across its various terrain types. And now, an update from a story we covered last week. On October 16th, NASA launched its Lucy spacecraft, a spacecraft with the goal of exploring asteroids throughout the solar system. Well, this week we have some unfortunate news coming from that satellite. While the mission is still a go, Lucy is experiencing some issues with its solar panels. To quote a NASA spokesperson, Analysts indicate that the array is between 75% and 95% deployed. It is currently being held in place by a lanyard, specifically designed to help unfurl the arrays during deployment. So, while this issue is not mission critical, it may end up posing a larger issue as the satellite gets farther and, way, farther and farther away from the sun, causing power issues to become more apparent. We'll keep you updated. On Wednesday, October 27th, the Soyuz 2.1A rocket launched the Progress 79 spacecraft on its route to the International Space Station. This mission is an unmanned resupply mission to the station. The launch took place out of the Balkonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this week's Space News Updates. Tune in next week and I'll see you guys then.